We are not here because we love Vladimir Putin. We are here because we love the United States. Rewind selector. Let me play this back again. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I'm Van. We are all the LFR family. Thank you so much for clicking play. Hopefully, you click the like button as well. We got a good one for you, man. Our boy Tucker Carlson went all the way to Russia to interview Putin. Is this dude crazy? <laughs> Tucker, you went to Russia to interview Vladimir Putin? This is about to be nuts. <laughs> This is about to be nuts. All right, guys, but before we check this out, I want y'all to do me a favor. Go to the very first link in the descriptions below and check out this book right here, The Ass Backwards Way to Move Forward. It's a tongue-in-cheek um, tongue guide to poverty and misery. It's written by the Celeste Duffy. She is an amazing author. Um, the book is dope. You can read this in probably a weekend, all right? Maybe, just maybe, this can be our book club. This can be our very first book club book, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, check it out. I um, mean, thank you in advance. All right, we about to check out some daggone Tucker, uh, All right. Tucker is in. Tucker is in Russia. <laughs> about to interview Vladimir Putin. Okay. We're in Moscow tonight. We're here to crazy. interview the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. We'll be doing that soon. There are risks to conducting an interview like this, obviously. So we thought about it carefully over many months. Here's why we're doing it. First, because it's our job. We're in journalism. Our duty is to inform people. Two years into a war that's reshaping the entire world, most Americans are not informed. They have no real idea what's happening in this region, here in Russia or 600 miles away in Ukraine. But they should know. They're paying for much of it in ways they might not fully yet perceive. The war in Ukraine is a human disaster. It's left hundreds of thousands of people dead, an entire generation of young Ukrainians. Hey man, before Tr Tucker continues, I just wanna say this, man. Shout out to him. This brother is spreading his wings, man. Ever since Fox did him dirty, and I don't know what happened at Fox, I don't know what happened at Fox. Let me, matter of fact, let me back away from that did them, did him dirty type of thing because I don't know what their business was. Ever since he left Fox, for whatever reasons he left Fox, um, got to say it that way. I gotta, I'm, I'm trying to be more mature lately. You know what I mean? Ever since Fox did him dirty, I don't know their business. He probably did them dirty. He probably smacked a director in the back of the neck one day or clipped him up inside the lunchroom. He probably was bullying the president of Fox. I don't know. Who knows? But at the end of the day, Tucker right now, he is spreading his wings, bruh. So far that he's in Moscow about to interview Vladimir Putin as a, as a contractor. We have been teaching people how to grow online. It's been absolutely amazing. We have three people who have been able to reach monetization in less than 30 days. Growing YouTube channels, some from zero people. We have one guy who had two subscribers before he started working with me. He started helping him. His views went up 4.8 million percent. We're super excited. If anybody ever want to grow on YouTube, you reach out to me with the word coach. He's no longer a, um, uh, an employee of Fox. They probably would have sent him out there before, but he's out there by himself now with his own team. This is big, man. And it's depopulated it's the largest country in Europe. But the long-term effects are even more profound. This war has utterly reshaped the global military and trade alliances. And the sanctions that followed have as well. And in total, they have upended the world economy. The post-World War II economic order, the system that guaranteed prosperity in the West for more than 80 years, is coming apart very fast, and along with it, the dominance of the U.S. dollar. These are not small changes. They are history-altering developments. They will define the lives of our grandchildren. Most of the world understands this perfectly well. They can see it. Ask anyone in Asia or the Middle East what the future looks like. And yet the populations of the English-speaking countries seem mostly unaware. Wait a minute. People are calling him a traitor. Why are people call him a traitor? Uh, can y'all tell me that? Why are people calling him a traitor? I don't get that part. But it is a funny thought that Tucker would do that. What, what do they think he's doing? 
you're in you're in okay i get it i get it i get i get the part where we don't f with putin i get that putin is a bad dude i get that all right based off of history based off of how evil he is represented everywhere he is like the super villain in a movie why is tucker making giving him a platform that's that's a way to do it because when you here's the thing I want y'all to consider I I just want y'all to consider this one thing just just hear me out if you're one of the people that consider him a traitor because he's deciding to go over there and hear everyone everything from the voice of Putin himself and you call him a traitor because of that I just want y'all I just want to remind y'all I lost a poop ton of subscribers on this channel when I decided to start reviewing Trump on this channel. I lost a lot of people saying, people think that that's like, when you start doing politics, your channel blew up. You're only getting all them views because you're doing politics. Bruh, are you kidding me? Like, it's not, all the way, it's not always about the views. The people that I lost was from this channel were people who were ride or die supporters who've been with me all the way up until like 600, 700,000 subscribers. They've been with me through music. They've been with me through comedy. All of the videos that I used to do. Then when I started doing um, political reactions, mostly conservative, because I'm conservative leaning, all right? A lot of them left. They looked at me as a traitor. And I'm not a traitor to them at all. But nobody, you know what I mean? Do y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not trying to make a case for Tucker, I can care less if y'all think he's a traitor. I'm just saying if you do, you might want to check yourself. That's it. That's it. They think that as nothing has really changed. And they think that because no one has told them the truth. Their media outlets are corrupt. They lie to their readers and viewers. And they do that mostly by omission. For example, since the day the war in Ukraine began, American media outlets have spoken to scores of people from Ukraine, and they have done scores of interviews with Ukrainian President Zelensky. We ourselves have put in a request for an interview with Zelensky, and we hope he accepts. This dude is not only interviewing Putin. He's trying to interview Zelensky. He is interviewing all the superpowers. Oh, you beefing with him? Let me go see what's going on. For all we know, Tucker might be the reason why they stopped beefing. This is something... I want y'all to hear this, man. This is something that Trump used to do that used to piss people off. Why is he always over there talking to this person and talking to that person and talking to this person in all these different countries? Well, they don't, they don't realize that that's how you got to get stuff done. Like, you got to put eyes on somebody. Let them feel how strong your daggone handshake is. Shut up. Shut up. I'm strong. Shut up. Sometimes you got to let them feel you. You got to let them feel your aura, your energy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me just go. But the interviews he's already done in the United States are not traditional interviews. They are fawning pep sessions, specifically designed to amplify Zelensky's demand that the U.S. enter more deeply into a war in Eastern Europe and pay for it. That is not journalism. It is government propaganda. Propaganda of the ugliest kind, the kind that kills people. At the same time, our politicians and media outlets have been doing this promoting a foreign leader like he's a new consumer brand, not a single Western journalist has bothered to interview the president of the other country involved in this conflict, Vladimir Putin. Most Americans have no idea why Putin invaded Ukraine or what his goals are now. If yeah, we just want to assume, it's just whisper, he's evil, he's evil, he's evil, he's evil, he's evil. He's doing this, that, he's doing this, that. He probably is evil as hell. Putin is probably Satan himself. And Tucker might find out. <laughs> But why is it we're trying to run away from that conversation? What is he going to say? What is he going to say? Yeah, we're here for it, man. And hopefully we're not censored by being here for it. You've never heard his voice. That's wrong. Americans have a right to know all they can about a war they're implicated in. And we have the right to tell them about it because we are Americans too. Freedom of speech is our birthright. We were born with the right to say what we believe. That right cannot be taken away no matter who is in the White House. 
but they're trying anyway. Almost three years ago, the Biden administration illegally spied on our text messages and then leaked the contents to their servants in the news media. They did this in order to stop a Putin interview that we were planning. We some dirty mofos, man. If we don't want something, we gonna be as dirty as possible playing whatever rules we wanna play, man. We just something. Last month, we're pretty certain they did exactly the same thing once again. But this time, we came to Moscow anyway. We are not here because we love Vladimir Putin. We are here because we love the United States. Rewind selector. Let me play this back again. Let me play this back again. Just, just that one part. Again, but this time we came to Moscow anyway. We are not here because we love Vladimir Putin. We are here because we love the United States and we want it to remain prosperous and free. We paid for this trip ourselves. We took no money from any government or group, nor are we charging people to see the interview. It is not behind a paywall. Anyone can watch the entire thing, shot live to tape and unedited on our website, tuckercarlson.com. Elon Musk, to his great credit, has promised not to suppress or block this interview once we post it on his platform, X, and we're grateful for that. So Elon, if Elon Musk has said that he's not going to block it, then that means that some people are going to block it because they don't want to give... This is how, you, this is how people are canceled, right? This is how people are canceled, all right? And, and listen, I get it. I, they don't want Putin to have a platform at all. But a lot of that talk was happening to me and other content creators who decide to have a new understanding or at least entertain the right side, the right, the information from the conservative side. When we decided to entertain the information from the conservative side, we were considered traitors we were considered wrong for giving the other side a platform, especially if they didn't already named Trump, for instance, evil, hateful, um, racist, and many other things, many other adjectives that I honestly don't see from him at all. But you're not going to see the good in anybody if you're always just thinking that they're bad, they're bad, they're bad, they're bad, they're bad, or don't even want to hear what they got to say ever. Now, not that Tucker is there trying to make America like Putin. He want to hear that side of the story. Why shouldn't we hear that side of the story? We should hear that side of the story if we want. If you want to hear that side of the story, you should be able to hear that side of the story without anybody having to block it. This is something bigger than MSNBC is doing. This is something bigger than Fox News is doing. This is something bigger than CNN is doing. He's going out there to talk to this dude face to face. Doing something in the middle of a war. That our president, this current administration, and everyone else, many other people are probably like, what the holy hell is he doing? They don't want him to do this. Western governments, by contrast, will certainly do their best to censor this video on other less principled platforms because that's what they do. They are afraid of information they can't control. But you have no reason to be afraid of it. We are not encouraging you to agree with what Putin may say in this interview, but we are urging you to watch it. You should know as much as you can. And then, like a free citizen and not a slave, you can decide for yourself. Like a free citizen and not a slave, you can decide for yourself. The one thing that pissed me off about this interview is that most of my content goes on YouTube. There are many content creators out there, many reactors out there who do politics. And the likelihood of us showing this on certain platforms, and I hope YouTube is not one of them, that will continue to censor people for simply showing another side because people want to see all sides of it. We want to hear every part. Why are we censoring information? That make us no better than any other country in the world. And we are far better. We need to start acting like it. 
Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. I look forward to seeing you on our next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Don't leave yet. Make sure y'all go inside of the descriptions and the very first link and check out this book. It's called The Ass Backwards Way to Move Forward. It's a tongue-in-cheek guide of, um, to poverty and misery. This joint is phenomenal, man. Click the first link. Get that joint.